Well, here's the feeder put in this position and it's full. I've got uh, 50 pounds of corn in it and about 80 pounds of protein. And that's what it looks like. I wanted to show you my one of my projects and this is a deer trough feeder uh, mine had this uh, half of a 55 gallon drum uh, sitting out in the woods that he hasn't been there in four or five years so uh, all his stuff I kind of call it a junk pile anyway uh, took this barrel. He already had holes drilled in it. I think they're a little big. They look like they may be Almost a half inch maybe no not quite a half inch. Uh, anyway, he put those drain holes in there. So It was just sitting on the ground half full of mud and uh, I took it and I built a frame around it here it is turned up right and the next part of the project will be putting a couple of side rails and a roof on it. That's what I'm going to start working on in just a minute. But one thing that I noticed uh, is that I may have made my legs just a little too high. These are 24 inches. Actually the legs are 23 inches. Uh, from the ground and uh, I'm a little worried it may be just a touch high but what I can do is where it's going it's a sandy area I can kind of dig the legs into the ground and uh, shorten it up a little bit one side board right here on the end of the barrel measures out to 22 inches So this one's 22, and of course that one down there will be 22. This long side piece here, it uh, grabs the 4x4. Four four. Let me just show it here. So this total is 44 inches long. So it's 44 here and 44 on that side as well. The barrel length comes in right at 35 inches uh, long and 22 inches wide. Now I'd say that he, he cut this on the half. Uh, but I don't know for sure. It looks like a half a barrel. Right now, the frame is long side 44 inches, short side 22 inches, which goes on the inside, and then 23 inch tall 4x4 four four post for legs. And this is a 55 gallon drum cut in half. Now, the side pieces that I make coming up from here to the roof they're going to be right at 60 inches long and it'll probably be uh, four and a half feet from here because uh, I'm going to use a good six inches in here to uh, tie it into. The measurement from the inside of right there to the inside of here is exactly 35 inches and again the measurement this way from here to there is 22 inches so my roof is going to be 
four feet wide by five and a half feet long. And I got to build a frame. And all of this right here is scrap wood that I've had lying around. So that's why I used the decking boards. Uh, didn't have any two by fours or anything like that. Plus the decking boards are good, solid, and long. Well, here's the feeder with the roof on. I wanted to show you these uprights from the bottom to the top inside that board. That's 48 inches, but from that top of the decking board, uh, subtract five and a half inches so that's 42 and a half this inboard here from here to here is 42 inches this sideboard here is 48 inches and I've got an inside board here that is uh, attached to this as a T that is 24 inches and what I've done is uh, screwed this to this so that I can easily take the top off I just have a screw here and a screw there and two others on the other side and I just take them out and the whole top will lift off I got one on each side like that and when I frame this up for the roof Again, it's 48 by 42, and I had some uh, drops of those 4x4 four four posts. They were cut at a 45, so I just cut them off, and I decided I'd put them in the corners uh, to help frame up this square for the roof. And the overall roof size is 5 feet this way and 4 feet that way. And again, I'm from the top of the trough, I'm 42 inches up. And I'm hoping that's not too high for the size roof I have. Uh, what I've done is I've put some dirt in here. Uh, we have a rain coming in this evening, and uh, it'll last on into the morning hours. And if this dirt gets good and wet, then I'll know that my roof is not sufficient. But anyway, the roof is made out of a uh, old bed liner, truck bed liner. Uh, just cut it to size. And I think that'll work. The one suggestion I'd make if you're going to make one of these is instead of having uh, a one by four, use a 2x4 for your upright. Uh, reason being is I noticed that the whole thing, I don't know if you can see that, the whole thing uh, is pretty wobbly as far as the roof goes. So I would recommend 2x4s for the uprights. But other than that, that's it. That's my 55 gallon drum trough feeder for the deer. I'm going to put uh, corn and protein a uh, protein blend in there for them. See if I can't get them uh, eating more than just carbohydrates out of the corn. Well, here's the feeder put in this position and it's full. I've got uh, 50 pounds of corn in it and about 80 pounds of protein and that's what it looks like. I've got it on the edge of this food plot here. I've got a uh, spin type feeder out here. And it is still throwing feed, so I'm not sure it'll take the deer 
a little bit, I'm sure, to get used to this right here. Right now, it's been out a couple of days, and I can see where when it rained the other day and the rain had run off there. Uh, and it's on this side too. But uh, other than raccoon tracks, I don't really see any deer tracks around it. Um, but looking on the road, I don't see a whole lot of deer tracks, fresh deer tracks out here right now anyway. All right, well, that's the feeder again set up. And I put it right on this road edge here so that I can drive right up to it to maintain it and fill it up. But that's the feeder. If I get any uh, confirmation that the deer are feeding in it, I'll uh, let you know.